all the way till to the end, he was still teaching me. And um, I'm going to miss my daddy. He carries his father's name. Now Aaron Pryor Jr. will preserve the legacy of his famous dad, who was considered the greatest junior welterweight. To this day, he still is the greatest amateur fighter and the greatest professional fighter that's ever came from this city. Aaron Pryor's fights were legendary. Beyond the ring, he was a champion for anyone who needed strength to believe in comebacks. You see, his life saw the darkness of drug addiction dim the spotlight of fame and fortune. But he gave his life to God and would become a deacon in his church. I think that's the most inspiring thing for our family is I was there for the bad and the good and uh, it was amazing. To me, it was more amazing his comeback than his career because that really, his comeback showed his true strength. This over the Rhine gym is a tribute to the rich boxing tradition here in Cincinnati. And where there is boxing, there's Buddy LaRosa, Aaron's longtime friend. The only other person I would put in the class with Aaron is a baseball player. His name's Pete Rose. You put Pete Rose on the diamond of baseball, he knew what was going on all over. Uh, Aaron was that way when you put him in the ring. His son broke down in tears when I asked him what it means to him now to wear his father's ring from Boxing's Hall of Fame. I mean, I, I was just so proud of my dad from when he got inducted, when he was down and people gave up on him and how he came back to the top. And that's a, that's a true champion. You know, actually, Aaron's wife, Frankie, you saw in that story, she used to work here at Channel 5 many years ago. I'm told funeral services will be private. A public celebration of his life will be held in the near future. Mike.